Hello, uh, today let's see what are the different ways of creating patient identifiers in BAMNI during the registration. Uh, so in today's agenda, we have what patient identifiers are and how is it treated in BAMNI and what are different types of patient identifiers like auto-generated identifier and some demo of how to use auto-generated identifier. And then the next category is manually entered identifier and how to configure that and also a demo on how to configure and use it. So let's start with what a patient identifier is. Patient is uniquely identified by an identifier in BAMNI, which is a combination of prefix and a register number. Let's say for example, GAN, 2003 is an identifier for a patient. So GAN is treated as a prefix and register number will be 2003, which can be manually entered or auto-generated. So let's see a demo of creating a patient identifier, basically auto-generated identifier, which is by default with packaged with BAMLI installation. So this is patient registration uh, screen of BAMNI. So clicking on create new, one will be navigated to this page. So as we already talked about the prefixes, so these are the set of prefixes that are configured right now in the system, uh, G-A-N, B-A-H, uh, etc. Let me choose one of those, let's say G-A-N and create a patient, maybe auto-generated test patient, test patient, and select the mandatory fields, then click on save. So the patient is saved, and since we do not enter any patient identifier, or let's say register number. So it has chosen to generate the identifier. Right now it is GAN 200064, which is the auto-generated identifier in BAMNI. Similarly, if you wanted to enter the register number by yourself, you have an option here saying enter ID. There is a checkbox beside it. Clicking on the checkbox, you will have a flexibility to enter the register number. Like let's say I want triple, triple seven, triple seven as the register number for a patient and the prefix may be SEM. Let's say patient testing enter ID. Select the gender add age and village, then save. Okay, so this is a, a feature in BAMNI where it is advising or warning that the entered ID is usually ahead of the sequence. So let's say S, because you want to go ahead creating the patient. Uh, here you go, you have a patient created with the required register number and the chosen prefix. Now let's see a manually entered patient identifier. So for suppose you don't want the prefixes, whatever the drop down you see here uh, with the list of uh, prefixes available in the system, if you don't want them and you wanted to disable that and always enter complete identifier manually, you also have that option in BAMNI. So let's look at how to configure it or disable what is what is seen right now on the page. So this is basically my uh, box. I log into your MySQL. And use the OpenMRSDB. So where now you get to see a uh, table called ID gen identifier uh, source. So select, let's see what are the contents of this table. Uh, 
Okay, so this table basically shows all the available prefixes that you see in the system. For example, G-A-N, S-E-M, S-I-V, and B-A-M are the prefixes right now available in the system. So if you update this table, ID, Gen, Identifier, Source, there is a column called Retired. So if you can retire all the values that are seen in this table, set a retired equals to one. So it will update all the four entries in the table with retired value as one, right? Before which the value is zero. And after this, the value is one, which means you have retired all the uh, prefixes that are available in the system. So this is what you have to do to disable uh, the prefixes in the system and manually enter your identifier. Now let's go to the app and refresh the page. So you don't right now see the prefixes because you have uh, disabled. Now you can enter any identifier you would like to. Manual patient and select the gender age, village, because these are my mandatory fields, and then save. So you have the patient saved with the required identifier. So these are the options available to create patient using an auto-generated identifier and manually entered uh, a register number and manually entered complete identifier. Thank you for watching this video.